And you know, you can create your own mantra in your mind depending on the cadence that you're running. You know, your natural cadence for let's say a steady day. When you are tired in a race, when you're tired in a workout, when you're tired in a long run, all these moments are an opportunity for you to make the check mark in your brain between your ears and say, pump arms. I'm really serious about it. When you're tired, remind yourself to pump your arms. So that's what we're talking about today. Let's dive in. First of all, uh, slightly bent uh, knees. All right, I like to put my left leg forward usually, but sometimes I force myself to put my right leg forward slight and uh, back bent over and then just nice and relaxed. Nothing too fast yet. We're not doing this motion yet. We're doing more of this complete. I almost compare it to like a swimming motion, but room, room, and then just nice and loose to the point where they're just kind of, your arms are just hanging there. And this is, this is part of my warm up for my arms. And then eventually I'll do it standing up. All right, so we start with these uh, forward and back, forward and back, nice and relaxed, bent knees, uh, back slightly bent, all right? And I do this for 30 seconds, all right? Just 30 seconds, switch it up to across the body. This is just the warm up. You guys all do this, you know, you can add a skip to it if you wanna go side to side. I like to just stand here when I'm focused on the arms though, all right? I'll do this for 30 seconds across the body, just like that. All right, I get a little, a little swaying motion in there, okay? And then with these first couple on the ground, I'm trying to isolate my arms from my legs. All right, we're trying to dial in the coordination and a little bit of strength. Uh, you know, we'll get to the strength here in a second, but mostly the coordination and uh, the posture of your entire core, okay? So especially from your waist up, uh, and, and I would say even all the way up to your neck. You know, sometimes you'll see a runner whose head is bent way over or back, or so it's like that whole kinetic chain above your waist. So, but first, there we go. You don't, you know, if you don't have a band, uh, really these are like $2, so they're really not that expensive. If you can find one of these, I'll go two sets of 10 for this band right here. And this is a lightweight version, okay? I'm just, again, activating all these muscles in my shoulders in preparation for, all right, so two sets of 10, just across there. Uh, and I like to add a, res a little bit of resistance. Oh my goodness, that feels good. It just stretches everything out better for this first one. Again, isolating the arms, ready, just sitting. And it's actually, it's not easy if you're not flexible to keep that back nice and straight. You don't wanna be slouching over. You don't wanna go be going back. You wanna be trying to lean forward just a little bit and then boom, 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 all right. Boom, boom, boom. And again, we're isolating the arms from the legs. Boom, boom, boom. Two sets by 30 seconds. And then the second set, I always try to do just a little bit faster than the first set, okay? So boom, boom, boom. Believe it or not, it'll raise your heart rate even though you're not moving anywhere. We're going from the sitting position up to the kneeling position. One knee, if you need to do it on the grass, that's okay. Cause you know, at the track, you'll feel it on your knee, but boom, same thing. Two sets by 30 seconds, second one a little bit faster. So, all right. So we're bringing in a little bit more of the hips by coming into this position from the ground. We're bringing, we're starting to activate our hips and our glutes a little bit more. All right, so boom, boom. Boom, all right, that's one set up to 30 seconds. And then I like to actually switch knees. All right, so you're staying balanced in the uh, coordination efforts. And it's okay if your arms cross over your body a hair. See how the arms are just, they're not straight. That would be straight ahead, all right, parallel with the body. They're just crossing over ever so slightly. What the exact degree is, I'm not sure. Uh, but you see how they're just slightly crossed over just like that. And again, always remind yourself, eyes up, looking straight forward. Um, you don't want to be looking crazy up. You don't want to be looking down, kind of that straightforward position. This is all a progression from sitting to kneeling and then to back bent, okay? So again, I like to offset my feet. I've seen some people do this, you know, both feet the same. It's not a natural running position in my, you know, for me. So I like to, I like to two sets of 30 seconds again, and this time back bent, okay? And eventually we're gonna stand up, we'll get there. But again, boom, 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 same thing. And just really focus on uh, those hips kind of coordinating with your arm carriage, okay? So boom, boom, boom. Again, second set, and then I switch, switch it up. Second set is faster than the first one. So boom, 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 boom. And you know, you can create your own mantra in your mind depending on the cadence that you're running. You know, your natural cadence 
for let's say a steady day or a, a tempo day where you get in that rhythm and then you can kind of create a little, you can hear it in my mind, that I'm just saying it out loud to you, boom, 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 boom. That's what I'm doing there. For this one, we're finally standing up, all right? Oh, you know the drill, two sets of 30, but I'm actually, I'm not just standing still. I wanna start to emphasize moving forward and that move, uh, moving your, your legs, your feet with your arms. We're not gonna be running down the track yet, but uh, it's a slight bounce, okay? So, boom. See, I'm just getting a slight bounce. Both feet moving at the same, uh, well, uh, alternating, not at the same time, but alternating. And then boom, two sets of 30 seconds, okay? And then boom, you're gonna feel it in your lower back, upper glutes as well, if you're activating those glutes. All right, I gotta focus here. Get this down. Two sets of 30 seconds, take a, take a rest, you know, 15 seconds, and then hop into the second set with uh with faster all right and this is where you'll really start to figure out your coordination how good are you at quick feet exercises with arm pumping all right that eyes up pump arms quick feet so just see if i can get going here and this is helps you everybody the arm coordination and pumping will help you stay light on your feet because the uh, the force of pumping your arm up is naturally gonna raise your body off the ground a little bit quicker, a little bit quicker, so you're not stomping the ground. You're actually, you're just, you're just kissing, kissing the ground just a little bit. Two sets of 30 for the standing. All right, question of the day. What, what do you do to work on your arm carriage? You're pumping your arms. What do you do? Maybe they, get some ideas rolling in the comments. So these running resistance bands, again, with a pole, is to help me avoid getting lazy in my, you know what it is, it's the, it's the elbow drive backward. All right, I'm pretty good, I, you know what it is, it's the mountain running, pumping the arms to get up the mountain, so I have a lot of practice with that, but it's bringing the elbow back and making sure it's doing it in an efficient and powerful way, all right? So, it's the same deal, all day long, two sets of 30 seconds, boom. All right, you wanna, again, stand up tall, stand up tall, I like to uh, offset those those feet once I get in position, and then whoo, this will burn by the end of 30 seconds, trust me. And this is only a light band right here, all right? And then switch feet after 30 seconds, switch it up to the other, the other position, the other stance, and then a little faster for this last one here. Boom. Standing up tall, eyes straight, okay? Focus on getting those, those elbows back. Trust me, you will, you will breathe in this one. Okay, that's that everybody. I'm gonna set up these hurdles for some feet coordination, which we are not talking about today. I'll probably make another vlog soon about how I plan to work on my agility more and more in 2022 into 2023. Again, just preparing for a lot of different things, but I'll just call it as it is big technical mountain races all right so we're gonna do some footwork here but not today today's focus was the arms and i'll probably honestly i'll probably make a part two for arm work and making sure we're standing tall even did you see that rewind i'll probably make a part two for arm work and making sure we're standing tall even did you see that rewind the last 10 seconds see how i just stood here and i naturally kind of collapsed in and then i mentally told myself pump arms and what happened was like my shoulder blades immediately uh went into their pockets into their pot so it just opens up that breathing cavity you just kind of go back a little bit all right can you see that there go back go back in everybody all right i hope that helps go back rewatch this this will end up again on the how to run faster playlist right there which will be right there right there right there how to run faster playlist oh man lots going on there all right seek beauty work hard and love each other see you tomorrow